Hello and welcome. Entertain the people and do the intro real quick. I need to check if I put up the sign. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. While speech disappears and, well, deals with signage, yeah, I'm yours truly, Eagle of the Ninth, and of course, I'm joined with Bud. Hello. Don't worry, audience, you've not missed too much. We've only literally just arrived. Thank God I checked! Uh, I apparently had not put up the sign. Also, you have not uh, started screen sharing yet. I have. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Am I the retard? Apparently. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, there it is. There it is, I see it now. I don't know why I love this so much. I should put these guns away. <laughs> no, don't do it. It's not the American way. <laughs> We've been sharing each other's ass off Arsenal, folks. Just permanently, just constantly sit there with the gun just over my shoulder while I play the game. That's all of a sudden. You're giving me a mental image of uh, Ghost for, or possibly even Price coming in from the Mon Warfare series in the background. Per Wait, is, is this his name? Perez, Perez secure the burger town. Oh, Ramirez. <laughs> Anyways. No, but... I'm, I, I said Perez, that's right, it was Ramirez. Anyways. I knew it, I knew it ended with Ez. Uh, let me have a read, then. Okay, fair citizens, thy daughter has become the target of the fond sentiments of a man. And as she dost now know well the desire to procreate, she was to, wishes to relay this information onto thee. No. 40 points. Really? It's hard to even make sense of the point of the message. It's noon. I just dropped by the infirmary to see Mel. To see Mel, and she greeted me with this. Yeah, it's fine to tell them that you're in love with a guy and dating him now, but do you gotta share the fact that you really like fucking in it? <laughs> I can't see the town crier <laughs> announcing this. <laughs> <laughs> you get the bell out, guys, quick. Stop him before he gets the bell out. <laughs> but yeah, but uh, that's pretty much all it says. You can't just imagine your parents reading this and saying, I can't just imagine her parents reading this and saying, so, in unison. And why does she think 65 points is a passing grade? Those extra 25 points would just be from girlfriend privilege anyway. I'm pretty sure writing a letter is pretty simple. Her style turns strangely antiquated for some unknown reason. At any rate, you might have a hard time figuring out what the point of the letter is. It's so short that it doesn't even seem to have a point. Why are you writing another letter in the first place? This is meant for your parents, right? Why not skip the effort and just call them on the phone? Even skipping a phone call, you could text them or something. What was that noise at the end? <laughs> oh, okay then. She's making a whole lot of sense, but I might as well just nod and let it continue. That brief unsatisfied face she made was cute. About how you've turned over a new leaf and are super motivated now. うん。今までも頑張ってなかったわけじゃないけど、真剣に頑張るってことで。うちの家系も昔から続いてるのもあるけど、パパは古風な考えの人だから、こういうレトロな手法の方がいいんだ。
Old fashioned, huh? Think back to when I met her aunt. I didn't get the slightest impression that she was from one of those old timey families. <laughs> It's nice that you're such a straightforward thinker. That don't think too hard attitude compliments her athletic at aptitude. That's exactly why her determination in this department worries me, though. Oh no, don't be absurd. <laughs> I have no idea why I feel so itchy today. <laughs> it's fucking weird. <laughs> what, being simple? Late back? Les affair? Oh, okay, that I can agree with. The Stuart Mel has an energetic yet, yet frank aspect to her. That perfectly suits the sport oriented image she carries with her. So, why did you want to be this way since you were a kid? You told me that when... You told me that was when you decided you wanted to carry on the family business, as I recall. こっちが不安な顔してたら患者さんが不安になっちゃうだろって。幼心ながらに可愛いなって憧れてね。Just drank some。だから私もそうなりたいって思ってこんな性格になったんだ。There's not really anything to no. It's irritating. Same here. <laughs> lying in wait. All three of us On just the silently prowl. wait and make a joke at something. <laughs> On the prowl. Yes. She blushes and laughs nervously, fiddling with a lock of her hair. I know Mel. I, I know Mel. She craves to care for others and could never turn away someone in need. I suppose this must. And at least in part, be thanks to the time she spent watching her parents. Also, my hair is really annoying today. There's something genuinely lovable about that. Well, without thinking, I step forward and wrap my arms around her. You're just being so cute, I can't help it. I already knew, but you just reminded me of it. <laughs> Mel responds in kind by placing her hands on my back. There's so much love packed in this delicate body. Every time she makes me aware of it, I feel compelled to do this. What a strange, warm feeling. Hmm, I don't know. I don't think we would have had a chance to meet if you weren't this way. Yo, what's, yo, what's with the bedroom eyes? I'm scared. She looking like she about to throw the motherfucker on the bed back there and pull, yeah. pull, pull close the curtains. There is, there is a very predatory look to her. Okay, it's gone. She's not blinking as much. I'm glad. She, she buries her head in my chest and wriggles to and fro for a second. Then she looks back up at my face. Oh no. Her face is melting with happiness. It's odd to say this of my senior, but ah damn, she's ridiculously cute. Instead of words, I reply with another tight squeeze on my arms before letting go. Yes, use Eagle to help you write the letter. Me? 
Yes, you know big words. She stretches and I uh, hear a ripping noise. Huh? What was that sound? Oh, nice. No. That means they're disposable now. What? <laughs> I sense a contrivance here somewhere. <laughs> she lifts a leg and uh, we both see a small freight patch in the fabric. What, just one little hole and you can't use them? I do, I see your point. I feel like they're usable. I still feel like they're usable if the hole is that small. But I understand the reasoning. I guess they're done for. Women's fashion sounds complicated. Hmm. Uh, uh, uh. I heave a wide so yawn. <laughs> Maybe I pushed myself a little too hard yesterday. I, de I deliberately shoot a lewd gay glance at Mel. How lewd. <laughs> she flicks my forehead for emphasis. Every little thing she does is adorable. Oh no, I really shouldn't. You'd be the one in trouble if someone walked in and caught me. Mm, well, I'll take you up on the on the offer. No doubt I'll feel more refreshed if I just take a 15 minute nap. No. That's not how naps work, sadly. Yeah. Glance towards the beds on the other side of the room. Nobody else is coming. Care to join me? I knew he would say that. How rude. How you have the option of using my arm as a pillow, like yesterday. I pat my sleeves to drive the point home. <laughs> She lowers her gaze, cheeks flushed red again. Uh, at a loss to answer, she unconsciously plays with her fingers. <laughs> Irresistible. You okay? Hold on, I need to. Sp uh, I need. To I need the right sound bite. <laughs> All right. Sound bite searching. We need we need a soundboard. There Please. we go. Yeah, we do. Why is there a video called Yoga Pe Yoda Penetrating? What? Bend over, you. I just sent that in the chat. I'm gonna stop you right there. What was that video called? Read it. Uh, Yoda, penetr Yoda penetrating. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of odd. I'm not gonna touch that. <laughs> um, I guess I'm I'll gonna I guess I'll watch it. Cold old sunny day around that. <laughs> In a way, slowly. I derive an odd satisfaction from teasing her like this. Our experience yesterday tells me, in no certain terms, that Mel's got a masochistic streak. Can't resist the temptation to keep messing with her. You okay there, bud? Oh. <laughs> That's... That video is funny. Is that enough reason to just randomly start dying, though? <laughs> so, <laughs> joke. You okay? I started, I started laughing, and then I started coughing. I guess you could call it caffing. I hate myself. <sighs> I, I still hate you for last week. So, fuck you. What, you don't like thinking about how erotic you can be when you're turned on? Uh, 
Komodo. Her face has turned a few shades redder than before. Her body starts to tense up, hands firmly grasping the hem of her skirt. A posture is surprisingly sexy. My mischievous mood is giving way to another sort of intent. Mel? Before she has a chance to turn back to face me, I embrace Mel from behind. Horny <laughs> time question mark. Not, no, swallow the question mark there. Swallow it? I don't want to swallow anything. Before she has a chance- I already read that. Uh, follow up the, it up with a couple of light kisses on the nape of her neck. Make that sexy voice again. Go to horny jail. Bonk. <laughs> Bonk. Mal's muscles relax and all resistance subsides. Her fingers find their way to my arms. She's so sexy right now, Mel. I turn my hands upward and roughly That's place them on her breasts over her shirt. Actually, how is he kissing the nape of her neck? No. That's not just the uni uniform, but also her weird gold choker, which I have no clue how she ever puts that on or takes it off. The fuck? <laughs> Bud bugged out before being dumped in hope. In oh no, he's back. Thought he was uh, preparing the horny jail style. <coughs> There we go, he's back. Yeah, my bad. Um... I continue to grope her breasts as I draw lines on her neck with my tongue. This man needs to go to horny jail right now. His <laughs> breaths, her breaths grow shallow as she tries to suppress her voice, which trembles as her body starts to shiver. Seeing her try not to let it show on her face while futilely trying to deny her arousal ignites a sadistic spark in me. Oh no. Oh boy, here we go. Those reactions are already so arousing, I honestly can't just leave this as a joke anymore. Let's make our way over there, Mel. I grab Mel's hand and slowly lead her forward. With a bit of force, I push it to the other side of the room. Get the notice. <laughs> yeah, there's no way for me to do this. <laughs> I can't censor it with the text box itself. Also, it's she's tied up. Angry, she's tied up. What yeah. the fuck? She's tied up. This is Look not above her head. Dopey. I see the bondage, sadly. Well, protests as she, pr protests as she wriggles her arms, bound to the bed frame by a ribbon. The frame responds with a satisfying creaking sound. Wow, this uh, this is more arousing than uh, I'd expected. Uh, can't get over how perfectly Mel fits the emerald when she makes that pleading face. Seeing her do it. Turns up the heat on my sadistic side. You're the one who said nobody else was going to show up, Mel. You're in no position to object. Lightly trace the outlines off. Yep. Oh, yep. <laughs> I still don't get paid for this. I still don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> Hold on, I let's check that. if I get paid for this yet. <laughs> He has a Patreon, folks. Nope, still do not get paid for this. Uh, there, is, no. there are still zero patrons. Um, go on, Rest patrons, where you at? I will make you a wholesome meme if you donate to his Patreon. <laughs> Who's soaking wet person me here? Me or you? Uh... 
I, I, I don't know. If it, is it raining? It's, 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 clearly, it's clearly not the se sex. They, they, they're, they're clearly not doing anything sexual. They're, they're just talking because they, they, he accidentally splashed water on her. Yeah, dude. It was just, it was just an accident. They were, they were gonna water the flowers. The phrase it in yeah. the most teasing terms that I can. Her underwear is still on, as it should be, but it doesn't do a single thing to prevent a string of fluid from forming a bridge between that spot of my finger. Must have been uh, yeah. some. Uh, must have been some uh, lemonade or something. I don't know. Maybe they're, they were, maybe they're trying to make gelatin, and it, it, it wasn't quite, quite quite thick enough yet. Jelly, thick. だから我慢できなくなっちゃうからやめてって何度も言ったのにそれに変にこんなことされたら she mutters that last confession softly with tears in her eyes. Irresistible. My cute little Mel is just too cute. Too much. I mean, I want to keep treating her like that so she'll show me more of, th more of this. Do what to you? Say clearly. What was I doing to you? <laughs> I mean, her legs don't seem to be tied up. It's a ribbon, though. You could probably get out of it. It's a ribbon. Yeah. I don't know, dude. Sounds like rape to me. Yeah. Say it like you don't want it, but you really do, don't you? <laughs> Run my finger along her... Dark. Yes. Probably six I going dark. dark. I run my finger like a clear ass. <laughs> on, on a Renault Clio. Uh, I love Beastie when he does that. I, I, run, <laughs> I, I run my finger along her Cleopatra with a bit more fo force. <laughs> <laughs> that's that. <laughs> hold on, that's the wrong one. That's the all all one. That's the all root. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Price, we get dirty and the whole world stays clean. <laughs> get up, soldier, we are moving. <laughs> I roll my fingertip around, around it over her. Yes. <laughs> Body it covering out. device. <laughs> device. <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> I, I'm just making a fun of just fun of it at this point. Yeah. You still want it so badly, even when I'm forceful, don't you? Yeah, she 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 does she does quite like playing Smash. <laughs> Super Smash Bros. Falcon Punch. <laughs> Warlock Punch is better. <laughs> oh god, what's that video? Um, Wombo Combo, Wombo Combo. Where are you at? Happy feet! Where are you at? Wombo combo! Damn fucker! Damn fucker! Oh! Where are you at? Where are you at? You mean that yeah. one? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's, a, that's a classic, dude. It is a classic. But seriously, uh, Warlock Punch is actually better than Falcon Punch. Shut up, bitch. No, it literally is. Does more percent, has more knockback, and actually has armor. Sounds kind of cringe to me. You can protest all you want, but uh, I can still see how hard uh, the situation is getting. <sighs> help. You're just so lovable that you can't help but love getting treated like this. Not, not, not the word that it, that that it, that that stands there. Help. Help! I need somebody help! Ah! Ooh, for those who wonder what the fuck, if you two wonder what the fuck I just did, I grabbed the uh, the A16 or whatever it is. I don't fucking know. The M4, yeah. Yeah, M4. M4. Just kind of like M16s Vietnam. Just kind of aimed it into my mouth. 
Please don't. I'd rather have you be alive. It's not a real fucking gun. Not like I could do anything. Suicide is a real thing, okay? Yeah. What the fuck was that? That was the gun. Again? You're just so cute, you know that? I'm making feel even better for you then. Ooh. Enough mere stroking, I pressed down my fingers. He must be giving her an extra good massage. Yes. Massage -y time. By the way, to those who actually want to see the proof, she is tied up. We are not Josh and you're here. Oh, uh, getting so relaxed, it's uh, dripping through your tension yes. now. I'm, this, this is getting stupid. <laughs> your tension, <laughs> yes. Every time the I tension. prod the gap, the wet sound emerges, and I feel her juices on my f on her s on the skin. Copies well, you gotta be more careful with the glass. Copious amounts of fluid envelop my fingertip with each poke. That must be some good massage oil. Yeah. That must be some really tasty lemonade. Also, I, for also, I, miss I, I forgot this sex scene as well, so it's three more sexy in this part. Mm. This is how we measure it, folks. <laughs> this is how we measure um, how long, how long are we gonna record it? Uh, three, there's three sex scenes, give or take. <laughs> she takes a hot, ragged breath every few words. Her eyes implore me to do... something. His stockings are in the way. You were planning on throwing these away anyway, weren't you? <laughs> Ratch. Then why don't I grip the fabric on her inner thighs and put my weight in pulling it apart? <laughs> yeah, it was kind of obvious it this was, was going to happen the second her stockings got slightly damaged. So he really just this returned to monkey. Monkey brain. Oh, that just reminds me of me playing young link against against soul. <laughs> just <laughs> monkey brain. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see how incredibly wet you are now. You should get her a towel. Whoa. Finally is read she, the line. She, Finally read the line. That? Is she into that? She better not be into that. I swear to God, I'm gonna leave this call right fucking now. I swear to fuck if it's she's less like, yes, that it's this call. it's I, it's probably less into rape, more like not having control while she's with him or something like that. But you like it when you have no control of how you're massaged, don't ya? I'm, you I'm going to keep this yes. joke running, this part. <laughs> Just keep it running. <laughs> Every few minutes, seconds, I'm just grabbing the gun and just cocking it and holding it to my head. Oh no. Um, what? Well, this is a problem. The caulking mechanism fell off again. Oh dear. Maybe for the best. I fixed it! You happy about that? So 
Sorry, Mal, but I can't wait any longer myself. I have to uh, massage more right away. Now he's gonna. No, he's in, in a way. He's going going to be the one get, that's getting massaged now. <laughs> so desperate. <laughs> no, that was that was act that was actual innuendo. That was not me trying to play some off. No, off, no that was innuendo. By the way, if I remember correctly in this sex scene, someone actually does walk in on them, but doesn't notice oh, that no. they're fucking. <laughs> yeah, I really don't know how to make it up to you for not keeping myself under control. Mel looks at me with her cheeks puffed out while I bow in apology. Oh yeah, by the way, that was a thing. He did not- he was not aware that it was a safe day, but still pumped the full. She steps forward and embraces me with a complex expression on her face. This cute demeanor heals my heart better than any medicine. I feel more comfortable with putting that matter aside now. So if that's not why you're mad, what's the real reason? Her face turns beat red with shame. She grips my, arms, my arm with her fingertips, uh, express her frustration. Ah, you're so damn adorable, Mel! Freaking irresistible! <laughs> Excuse me, what? <laughs> oh, I forgot that I forgot that the Rin was also like this. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, good girl. Murder. <laughs> Red rum. He's getting desperate. Oh, should I take that to mean you want me to make you smell even more like squid? She squeezes on my har arm. Hard. Ow, 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 don't grind your hands on my forehead! Ow, 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 stop! <laughs> it's kind of repulsive. <laughs> oh, I forgot that Ren was also like this. <laughs> Well, we're ju gonna just be on our way then. See you later, Rin. Uh, call a farewell out to Rin while she targets me with a cold smile. To hum humor Mel's wish, we set a detour to the fish market on the way home. I won't listen to you for the next three hours. Only three hours? <laughs> I feel like that's kind of lax. Just noticed? <laughs> Today's Sesame Street is brought to you by the word oblivious. Mel says this as she sips on- s sips? Stop eating the bed. You know what, I'm gonna take a short break, toilet break, be right back. Okay, we're back! Blood's dying again, apparently. <laughs> Mel says this as she sits uh, on top of my bed. Her confession is accompanied by an unfathomable, unfathomable expression. Hold on. 
Talking is hard. Uh, English. I guess I have to admit that you do seem to be at your happiest when we're in the throes of it. In throes of it, but where did this come from anyway? Should I hear the story from the beginning? <laughs> she she strikes a defiant attitude and puffs her cheeks out. Well, at least she's still as adorable as always. Overdoing it? How exactly? その抱かれるって思っただけであんなに濡れちゃうこととかレンに Oh, you cute little thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's just fucking purring over there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Go back to her pet. Return to her pet. levels at a hundred percent. It's over nine thousand. <laughs> Reject serious return. He's doing door. internally what you should be doing on this video, namely internally smashing that like button in his heart. Ah, uh, I, 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 I felt the part of my soul die with that joke. Just for that, I'm unsubscribing. Ugh. I just watched. You can't, you can't expect me not to pull that <laughs> when that is the line currently on screen. I just pulled oh. an alpha rad. Uh, that's my excuse. I wonder why she looks so disgusted. <laughs> I'm eternally smashing the like button in my heart. So, what about this? Has you so worked up? Are you saying we should seek counseling or something? Sex addiction addiction test checklist. So you basically told your aunt that you're fucking. Uh, almost too Damn. much. To the um, point where you have to consider it might be an addiction. Well then just go to horny jail. <laughs> yeah. Just go to horny jail. Like, you gotta imagine, like, asking someone for a test like that is basically telling them we are fucking so much that it's honest to God starting to be worrisome that it might be an addiction. Uh, I'm never gonna be able to relate to that, ever. Huh. The lady must know Mel better than Mel knows herself. Mel doesn't seem to think so, though. Keep my mouth shut. Uh, okay, uh, so should I play the examiner role? <laughs> she gives me an uncharacteristic curtsy. I'm not sure the term sex addict quite applies to her, but I might as well play along. She ran through all the trouble of obta obtaining this, after all. I need to, like... Uh... I need to cut my, like... Uh, what the fuck, I cut Latin in English. Cut your hair. Sideburns! There we go. Need to cut my sideburns again at some point. You didn't know that word in English? Nah, because I like the German word more. Kotletten. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Has more power. Um... I was gonna make a joke, but I don't want your channel to get deleted, so I'm gonna hold back. Good boy. She went through all the, uh, oh. I already read that. Guess I should just read it like a survey. I take the paper in hand and begin to read. Okay, let's begin. Uh, one, your sexual impulses have interfered with your job or studies. I don't think that's the point of the question. What an adorably pitiful girlfriend I have. 
When she says things like that, the, like that, it makes me want to throw this paper aside and bet her right now. I think he's the one with the sex addiction. Yeah. I think but I have to stay composed. Okay, that's a no for number one. I circled a no on the sheet. Two, you have no preference of partner or method when craving sex. Hey, don't get mad at me, I didn't write this. Okay, another no then. Another no, another circle. You feel three, you feel intense guilt or self loathing after a session of sex. Not just after a sex session of sex. Post not clarity question mark. Hey, enough that attitude. It's just what's written here. Try to ge keep her temper in check, then circle no a third time. Four, you feel compelled to have sex even when not specifically in the mood for it. Sounds to me like the answer is no. Another circle on no. I'm starting to feel like we're just rushing through this. Five, you have sexually assaulted someone or felt a strong temptation to do so. Right, no. Okay, next is... Uh... Okay, our checklist is done. Time for the results. Just a regular old pervert. If you're worried about that you had some kind of condition, I think it's okay to be relieved. <laughs> Having a girlfriend with equal parts cuteness and sexiness is more, bla more blessing than I deserve, and, and for that I'm thankful. The only thing this test really confirmed for us is that my girlfriend's a total horn dog. A total horn dog? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> oh, it's not gonna be healthy by the end of it. No. We all know this game. We all know this game. She walks and smiles with her hand, shielding her eyes from the sunlight. The other hand is naturally comfortable, comfortably wrapped around mine. Hmm. God, if she let her hair down and, and wore a hat, that'd be nice. Just wear a hat, lol. A cowboy hat, though. It has to be a cowboy hat. <laughs> now. The biggest sets than ever. It has to be a cowboy hat. We chose to walk through our usual shopping street on our date. Well, in light of this healthy, pure date, uh, why don't I bu buy you a healthy, pure gift present? Still have some spending money left from when I still worked part-time. <laughs> Wait, so he's not getting paid for... Basically, what looking after all these people? I'd like to hope, at least, that they're contributing a little bit. Apparently, it doesn't get paid. Hmm. It's not. I'm sure he gets paid in other ways, if you know what I mean. He doesn't need to get paid in those ways anymore. He has Miyabi. Yeah. Miyabi was what I was talking about, but okay. So you're so you're trying to say that Miyabi is payment? That's only a disrespectful. <laughs> I think I dumbfounded him just now. <laughs> I'm saying that him getting a girlfriend is payment. Is the payment, you fucker? So the girlfriend is the payment. 
That's what that is anyway, it's... Fuck you. I'm done with this conversation. Stop, don't, stop digging. <laughs> uh, stop digging the graves. Alright, I've forgotten about that. I wonder how much models are compensated for their work. My job wasn't a one-time thing though, so I suppose there's no point comparing them. But, well, it's not like I was going to try and give you something beyond my budget. I just wanted to give you a present as your boyfriend. Express my feelings, you know. I really need to shave off my sideburns again. Sideburn. Sideburns. <laughs> I hate myself for saying that right now. Her eyes widen for a moment. Her cheeks quickly flush red and she points from me to her. A present, yes. And Adam repeat the word. At a loss for words, she hangs her head instead. Then she wraps her arms tightly around mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cute and sweet, I can feel the diabetes setting in. Setting in. Oh god, your mic cut out. That is, you went... <laughs> <laughs> That's unsettling. <laughs> Don't worry, there is no white under the desk right now. It sounds like you just had a really hard nut. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, I feel like running around the street and raving to a random passerby about her. I throw away all the money in, in my name if it meant having her do that for me all the time. But then I guess a natural first choice would be a ring. Oh, <laughs> She sighs with a tangible regret. Dummy, that's not something you need should apologize for. You and I both know how much your medicine make her your medicine making means to means to you. I give her a reassuring pat on the head. Pat, I've, heard, pat. I've heard about people who use their hands at work putting their ring on a chain around their neck. <laughs> Not awesome. I just, I just felt Bud die. The alarm bells rang violently. What the fuck have you been post while I was on the shitter? <laughs> <laughs> we were having a conversation about the US Civil War, among other things. What about this nigga getting pussy with three inches, though, with his great personality? <laughs> Conquered one fourth of the world for spices, but puts none of them in their <laughs> food. <laughs> I use pass. Oh wait, no pass. What the one. fuck is going on in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck were you doing? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm getting me gun. I'm getting me gun. I'm getting me gun. Have <laughs> mercy. <laughs> I admit, Please, we I'm were wondering. Sorry. We were wondering if you just left left the recording on while we were sadly <laughs> chatting while you were gone. No, I did pause the recording. Thank God, probably. Oh, it wasn't that bad. No. <laughs> That's what makes you like the idea. Add one to the demon mysteries folder. Actually, maybe it's just Mel's masochistic streak showing. Well, whatever makes her happy. Uh, um, okay, so if I were to decipher your message, uh, you'd prefer a collar over a ring, is that it? Yep, uh, there's still pain in Bud's voice. She tenses up as she forces the words out, hands clenching the hem of her s of my shirt. And thus we enter the sex store! Bleh. There's actually a sex store that comes up in other routes as well. Mm. <laughs> I didn't know we transferred to Soho. <laughs> Is that a dominatrix out behind her? Well, 
Oh, so, so it's oh. nah, nah, just regular lingerie. It looks like a bit of Ruria's wardrobe as this goat. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> She's just getting triggered. Well, I don't know much about what drugs are made of. Mel picks up a jar of cream and inspects the black label. See the words ecstasy like you're in heaven on the lid. Not too discreet and not, not to discredit her concerns, but I doubt anything particularly strong in that department would be this easy to buy. I'm just imagining her reading all of the labels in the back and going, amateurs. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound oddly plausible. If that line was actually true, this stuff should be a controlled substance. My logic seems pretty sad to me. So, do we really have to come here to get your collar? Every shelf and display around us is lined with various adult toys. There's no surprise to us. That's exactly what the purpose of this shop is. We knew... It, we knew it when we came in. Though this is the first time either of us have actually entered the place. So much for having a healthy pure date. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. I just noticed the, the head and the hair on that. And it's creeping me out now. Oh, God. Why did you break that out? Yeah. Why does it need a head? Why does it need hair? Yes. Exactly. Why? It's creepy. <laughs> I sat back it's and watched my girlfriend fawn over the collars and handcuffs section. Oh no. I've never had to judge how a collar looks on someone before. Huh. Maybe this one? I chose a nearby specimen at random and pick it up. So this one's a dirt then. I guess a girl's shopping instincts are the same no matter what she wants to buy. What even makes a collar look cool exactly? Then what about this punkish studded one? Welcome to the Black Parade. <laughs> what is this guilt trip? What even qualifies it as effort here? What counts as cool or cute to a girl's eyes anyway? The only other girls I know well are Emily and Riria. Mel's very specific tastes don't make guessing the right answer any easier either. Which one would I like to see on Mel's neck? Take a moment to really concentrate as I sweep over the racks with my eyes. Not, 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 not me, Abyss. That was a bad joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was desperately hoping uh... you'd avoid that one. Uh, <laughs> desperate. You should know by now that I go for the low-hanging fruits. I didn't get the joke for a second. I'm sad. How that oh. went through over my head. Oh, oh sweet no. summer child. I'm sorry, I'm too wholesome, right? I need to add, cr scratch my ear real quick. I don't know why I feel so itchy to die. It's fucking scritch, annoying. Scritch, 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 scritch. Yeah. It's gonna just, just, just the hair. For some cut reason, hair my away. fucking head itches everywhere today. Just cut your hair, hair away. Mm. What about this one? I spot a simpler red one and hold it up to her. The ring itself is thin yet wide, with a basic design on genuine leather. It looks a bit more mature than the rest and seems to be made rather well. The color matches her scarlet belt perfectly, too. I think this would suit you pretty well. What do you think? Something feels weird in my right hand, like I can't properly move my thumb right now. Hmm. At least I don't have any strength in it. Did you beat your me too hard? No. <laughs> I was hoping to leave the unvoiced. I had to. Especially since you said right hand. I mean, you can't blame me for for the following line then. Uh, I beat it with uh, reasonable force. Oh god, that, this reminds me of that EDP video. 
I beat the fuck out of my dick so, so bad that much. <laughs> that, but I can't feel my left ne leg. My left leg has gone totally numb. And my dick has also gone totally numb to the point where it feels weird to take a piss. You mean that one? Yes. <laughs> the yes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Uh, Mel fidgets and blushes on cue. Oh, that was good, dude. Yeah, now I'm imagining it around her neck. I call her out that slender pale neck. Oh, yeah, that would be hot. Marpeat quickens before I remember where we are. But then I'll go by this. Wait here for me. Take the collar with me to the register to calm my nerves. I don't know. Real leather leather really commands a high price. Hold on. What's six thousand leather leather uh, six six thousand six thousand yen? Like sixty euros, I think. Uh, it's expensive. Forty quid or something like that. Mm, it's still a I lot. Yen mean. to think... euro. Six thousand. It's forty-eight euro and forty-six cents. Let's make that uh, U.S. dollars. Oh, he's doing it for me. Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven dollars and thirty-eight cents. And where's the pound? It's the pound sterling. <laughs> Sorry. Can't find the pound. Rand. There. Pa there we go, pound sterling. Uh, 44.42. Okay, so it's pretty expensive. expensive. Yeah, that is. So roughly around 50. Yeah. 60 dollars. Yeah. It's, yeah, that's... Oh, that's chunk out of your budget. Yes, it better be quality. <laughs> I'm, I'm somewhat angry that I can't see it on their sprite. M Mel skips along, clutching her precious little paper bag to her chest all the while. It's because she hasn't put it Don't on. Don't explain it. Don't bully me, I didn't know, and you didn't know, you fucker. Oh, I actually did know. Fuck you. I hate you. Um, her hair bobs in the wind as she bounces to and fro and hums. I don't know how I feel about how happy this makes you. <laughs> Mel leans over and fondly puts her hand on my shoulder. Looks like a pair of bubbly little... We look like a pair of bubbly little kids. Uh, however, one of the kids, is ki quote-unquote kids, is currently holding a bag with a collar. Yes. Don't, uh, don't equate yourself to kids when something like that can immediately make it creepy. Or rather, we would if the president... Qu and the, the president in question wasn't a caller from a sex shop. Well, he just took your joke from you, bitch. I, f I did actually forget about that line. <laughs> Still, <laughs> if there's enough to get metal fluttering giggling, I, I can't complain. And you can't with a collar? Why, no why don't I put it on you right now? Right now? Uh, while you said yourself that there's in fashion on the demon side of the world, so I figured it wouldn't hurt for you to wear it like it's normal. <laughs> she turns her head to bury her face in my shoulder. My girlfriend is still the cutest person alive when she reacts to things this way. Her teasing impulses making a comeback. She's exuding, exuding that masochistic aura like she's inviting me to toy with her again. My mischievous side is tickled awake and I peer at her with evil in my heart. Oh no. The evil is within. He's a sadist. <laughs> the evil within. He's a, he's a sadist. Oh no. The heart of darkness. I think it was already obvious that he's a bit of a sadist. Not wholesome. I'm gonna have to, uh... That's 10 points off for this route. <laughs> None of the routes are wholesome. Mm. 
Mm. Mel, do you want me to put it on you now? Yeah. Mel's eyes wander as she tries to process my question. She gulps and then nods. Uh, I better see it on the sprite. I'm gonna lose my shit. Hesitantly, Mel lifts the bag and holds it out to me. Yeah, I've got it. I accept the bag and retrieve the collar from within. I reach up and wrap the leather around her neck. I adjust the size to keep it from being too tight and then fasten the buckle. <laughs> that shit's large. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that it was that large. <laughs> Mel, the the Mel looks up at me and asks for approval. Cheeks. Did you just did you just make a did you just make a Catholic touching little boys joke? No. I said as the actress said to the bishop. Oh, I just heard the word bishop and I was like this motherfucker we just said that. <laughs> you hear the word bishop and immediately assume someone made a pedophilia joke. I I <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I mean it's fitting. It is. Sadly. Mel looks up at me and asks for, asks for approval. Cheeks sporting a lovely shade of vermilion. This isn't a fashion statement, oh no. We bought this at an adult shop and we can't just forget that. Her breathing is faster, her eyes are moistened. I guess it does suit you in a way. That you look really sexy with that on, I mean, Mel. I stroke her cheeks slowly. Pee pee in large. So you into that, huh? No. <laughs> Mel shakes her head at me and tries to play it off. But I can hear her breath grow short as she wraps her arms around herself defensively. Do you like your new collar? Ugh, I hate that sentence. I hate this scenario. Uh, mm. But... Yes? <laughs> oh, critical hit to bud! <laughs> well, that yeah. skips a beat. The re return beat makes up for it with such force that I, I could hear it. Those were the magic words uh, and the exact right tone to set me off. The compulsion to mess Mel up again stirs within me. Jeez. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Children back away slowly. It coming. <laughs> Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> the mom knows. The mom's into that shit as well. The mother's like, I know. The, the, the mom has is, more is, than one collar at home. However, she's the not the one to the, wear it. Um, huh? What? <laughs> I'm saying that in that relationship, the dad is the one with the collar on. Subwoman, subwoman, then. It'd be the opposite. Wait, no, wait. I, I got confused. I get this to. I, 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 I'm not so <laughs> yes, I'm all very confused. <laughs> I'm just supposed to quiet. Dom woman, dom woman. Okay, the mother actually was right about it. <laughs> I mean, no, this one is an actual caller, but still. <laughs> Don't get one of those, child. Mel stiffens in shame. I grip her shoulders and lean in to whisper. But you really are just like a kid, aren't you? Why do you keep going? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Mel squeezes her eyes shut and trembles. When she opens them again, she faces me. I can see that she's on the verge of tears. You fucker. Unable okay. to say more, Mel leans forward and buries her head in my chest again. Her fingers grip at my shirt and continue to shiver with impatience. His behavior ignites the beacons of lust within me, one by one. No, I don't yeah, think either of us can wait lit. that long. This is not wholesome. The beacons are lit. Call. Gondor calls for aid. The beacons are lit. My people need me. <laughs> uh, I need to re-watch uh, Tear of Grace's uh, Shadows of War video, uh, videos. Anyways. <laughs> How will Rohan answer that? <laughs> now, come over this way. I grab her hand and pull her along. Leader to a secluded alley detached from the main road. Oh boy. 
I swear to f- I, I'm actually going to leave this call if they do it right there. There was nothing. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right, I'm, I'm gone. I'm sorry, boys, I gotta go. By the way, it was never mentioned that he bought a leash. He bought that leash knowing what he was gonna do. <laughs> He's just gone. <laughs> Bud is GTFO'd. <laughs> I hope you have the notice up, by the way. Huh? I hope you have the notice up, by the way. Oh, I do. I do. Good, good, good. However, this is not quite enough. To, uh, not quite yet uh, censorship uh, uh, censorship area. <laughs> censorship area? The only CG I will probably have to censor is in Riria's route. Uh-huh. I roll up her skirt and in a heartbeat I'm side her up to the root. Jesus Christ. Yeah, uh, Mel arcs her back back away from me and shut us hard. Have to be quiet or someone's going to, going to find us here. You just put it in, woman! You only just put it in, woman! Riding in the shadowy alley behind a building nearby, near the park, Mel's old body is shaking from trying to tough it through the rippling orgasms hitting, hitting her. Her white love juices dribble down her ample pale thighs. You haven't spent a second on a foreplay, but you're already wetter than an ocean down there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, classy, classy. So she's trying to say that literally just him putting the collar on her and whispering in her ear is the preparation she needed. Oh boy. Oh boy. Once again, where the fuck did he get the leash? <laughs> Surreptitiously. Mel, Mel desperately tries to keep her voice down. Her body shivers as she clamps down on the yes. So, uh, if just making you wear this got you ready for it, you're only bound to get it worse as we go, aren't you? Mel shakes her head defiantly, despite not being able to emote very well anymore. Is it over yet? Oh, it's not over yet. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like he's a roommate trying to go to bed, uh, and his roommate is just fucking on the bed, his girlfriend, and he's just poking his head in. You done yet? Oh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go, I'll go out eat again. <laughs> Are you done now? Oh, okay, I, I'll, I will, I, I'll just hang out with someone else. <laughs> Sounds like my experience at uni. I never had experienced uni. I will also probably never experience uh, some kind of class reunion. Unless it was online. No, I literally will not never experience that probably because of uh, my whole repeating at, and then dropping out situation. Uh oh. So yeah, probably will never be invited to one of those. Mel sh I already read that. <laughs> You're adorable. I was expecting that response. The sweetness of it sends a shiver up my spine. Yes! Oh boy. I can tell to make the say some shameful as an instant turn on for her. Her sentences are broken up, punctuated by hot, passionate breath. Pa impatience drives her to wiggle her hips Sorry. on her own. Sorry, bud, not yet. Still not done. 
Darn. Okay, then I'm we just don't bring so close, and someone's far. bound to find us eventually. <laughs> going to go all out on you, so but but don't you make any noise. Disappointed Lee noises. <laughs> yes. <laughs> If you can't manage that, I'm going to stop, Mel. So you say, but how many times have you come so far? Oh boy, I'm not reading the rest. <laughs> But just posting go to horny jail memes. <laughs> I like how he also has not joined the stream yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to watch. I mean, just for this line, you're probably not watching. Don't read the line to me. Shall we read it? <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, Jesus Christ, a lot of people are in the goddamn chat in the server. Ah, yeah. damn, you're resistible, Mel. Also, there's been, been tags. The play Some of them are playing Among Us, I suspect. Okay. They're actually separated into two different. But it's continuously posting go to horny, horny jail memes. I'm going to pick up the pace, uh, so show me all the cutest faces you can make. Bruh. That sound that could also be a line from a photographer. Maybe, but I know it's not. She looks refreshed. Oh, by the way, it's over, bud. Oh, thank God. We need to get an air raid siren for things like that. Just like connect a button via USB that's just a, basically a big red button. And that's just hit it. <laughs> She's still wearing the collar. I know, I've got one more horny jail moon. <laughs> Mel sits at the counter across from the stove and peeks at what I'm doing, humming blissfully. Look back and notice the collar I bought her. Oh, you put the collar back on. What if the others see it? Shut. Last one, I think. I suppose she kind of has a point. Still, rings and collars aren't the same thing. Well, as long as she's happy, I don't mind. Okay, I can join the call. Of course, you would think jokers are uncomfortable. Well, wear your clothes. It's a collar. Dang, it's a collar. Mm. And that was the executive march into the sea. Um, I seem to remember you saying this was totally normal in your world. This is like what happened with those kids in the park, but reversed. Though I'd expect this kind of thing from these airheaded girls. Keep fantasizing, Nudia. What? You're assuming skill on his part. Ugh! <laughs> <laughs> 
頃のお兄ちゃんはもういないのね。妹は悲しい。コロリ。Come here with us. Cry. Cry. We will salt the omelets with your tears. Yes. Be sad. Thank you, Yo. Yep, business as usual at this dorm. Thank goodness. This dorm, this whole dorm needs to go to horny jail. I like Pochi, my collar is full of love. Woof woof. Woof woof, good boy, Pochi. He's a girl. He's a girl, right? He's a he's a girl. <laughs> he said boys, so the correction would be he is a she. Yes, good girl, Pochi. Good girl. Also, she took the collar off. My emotion has been broken. Maybe for the best. I'm sorry to tell you this, but I have no way of knowing that from just looking at her. Mel bounces around with undisguised glee over the steadily growing mandrake in its pot by the wall. Thankfully, its sexy body-esque roots remain buried most of the time. She claims that at a glance, at a, that at a glance, most people would assume she's just growing carrots or something. I'm not sure myself. Well, but most normal folk don't actually know that mandrakes are real, so why would they suspect anything? <clears throat> Mel dons a pair of wool gloves and grips the stem just above the soil. Why are there three different pictures? I'm scared. That thing doesn't know how to shut up as usual. But always, I mean. There's three of them. I help Mel with her work as her aunt instructed us and try to ignore the screaming. <laughs> I feel renewed pity for the gardeners who specialize in raising these things. Any normal person without nerves of steel would have already chucked them into, inc into an incinerator. <laughs> gotcha. Mel remains completely unaffected, it seems. <coughs> Mel's the perfect image of immaculate mental and physical health. Mm hmm. As I recall, you mentioned that these amplify the effects of other drugs, right? She strokes the mandrake, which uh, thankfully hangs limp after screaming into exhaustion. I should note, by the way, mm. that they ran out of energy for streaming for screaming very quickly. The little monster monster twitches in Mel's hand. I almost pity it. Now that I think of it, uh, Rydia mentioned having these at her grandma's house, and the others seem to know about them too. Hmm. I see. I see that I don't get it. I mean. So it has more than one type of mandrake, after all. I do clearly remember her aunt saying what a pain it was to get her hands on this one. If even a specialist has problem with them, they must really be valuable. I'm more or less satisfied with knowing that much for now. Hmm. Mel trots off towards the door with a spring in her step. I call out to her before she gets far. Uh, Mel, hold on! There's something I've been really wanting to ask. Do you mind? You haven't been faking it when we do it, have you? <laughs> uh, <sighs> and there comes the doubt. Knowing that my girlfriend is in the honest 40%, at least, according to the plant, soothes my mind. 
ゴリゴリとうんこんなもんかな Mel looks at the ground up mandrake root in her mortar and nods to note her satisfaction. Yes, it's a plan, but watching her slice open and crush something with that shape was、uh, genuinely horrifying. Oh, she after... killed it? Like the whole thing's dead? But、yeah. after the first cut, it just looked like a funky carrot or burdock root to me. You should have a low tech way of processing the stuff. Kind of expected something more. Laboratory esque, I guess. Campo to Kayakso no ten ne mononante, die die cona cantio. Sendiruko, conani suruka, Sorea Macaina monomo, not just me. Let's see. Ah,、uh, don't see. I'm in no way well versed, even in the human world version of these sciences. But if a witch tells me so, I might as well believe it. I nod and let her continue. Huh, so how exactly does this effect amplifying part work? So no man m o t h e r Even works on those? Mandrakes are miracle plants. <coughs> it has both natural and artificial applications. I、uh, figure s it'd, it'd be a rare species. I don't get how, but its uses are almost too many. <laughs> don't say something weird. Don't say something weird. Don't say something weird. Oh, well, I don't know off the top of my head. Be a waste to have her make something I can't use just for fun. Actually, I think I'd be happy if she just used it to have as she wants.、Hmm? Now, can I ask you for anything? An idea pops into my head as I ask her this as, as a precaution. Remember that drug you took a while ago? Oh no. I like how she has to specify which one. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, what was it?、Uh, the one that makes orcs go into he heat, I think. If you mix in some of that, what would happen? It would explode. The, the, the instant Mel realizes what I'm asking for, her eyes open wide. <clears throat> Mel's face flushes a deep scarlet hue. She turns ten shades more bashful and looks away, fiddling with her fingers. She looks troubled, a bit frightened, even. But as expect also expectant in a way. She shyly steals a peek back at me every few seconds. I was just asking that on a whim. But now. Now. Now Mel looks like she's waiting for me to tell her something. That teasing monster in my heart rouses itself awake. Okay, well, uh. Could you make that for me? By the way, this sex scene and the collar one was the two sex scenes I remembered. I remember the sex scene.、Uh, like, from this route, I remember the that there's a sex scene after the whole she thinks he's gonna, gonna break up with her, and then these two. Which, by the way, after this one is done, I'm going to tell you just how ridiculous that sex scene is, technically. Because it's ridiculous. It... <laughs> Mel freezes and won't answer. She's clearly scared, but curious. I sense it in her reply. Some people are into that. Wait, what? Uh, no. Her、no, face turns、no. a deeper red that when I step close and pull her chin towards me. <laughs> Lean in and whisper in an evil tone. And what do you mean by break? Are you assuming that you'd be the one to take it, Mel? Didn't you just say you'd make me whatever I wanted? I'm your boyfriend, and I want to see you turn all cute again. I want to pamper my cute little girlfriend some more. 
That's why I'm asking. Is that a no? I say it in terms that Mel can no longer refuse. I block off all logical escapes, leaving Mel with just one option. Coward. Come here and fight me, coward. You're enemy of the people. Mel peers at me through half-closed eyes, almost ready to cry. Her breath grows hot as she looks at my face. Her twin roles of pharmacist and lover are in conflict. Still, she finally answers with a small nod. It's been 30 minutes. Mel is in witch mode now. Holding a small vial, which she then passes to me. Hmm, you made a lot less of it this time. Oh, that explanation sounded like something a real pharmacist would say. The banter goes on, led by me and my over the top acting. Now that I have the start of the show in my hands, I'm kind of excited. Uh, I could tell that Mel's breathing was faster and harder than usual when she was mixing it. Her anticipation was even making her fingers tremble as she worked. That alone was definitely a turn on for me. We haven't said it explicitly, but uh, we both know what it's that, that it's for that. So, could you show me how to use it? Mel blushes again and quivers like a cornered rabbit. She turns her glittering eyes up at me coquettishly and nods. Oh, so rubbing it on that way is more effective. Uh, Mel keeps fidgeting and turning a deeper shade of red. I do my best to keep my reasons as bright and normal as I can. So, uh, what do you mean by mucous membranes, then? And how exactly would you rub this on it? I extract more and more detail from Mel's little lesson. She knows what I'm up to. I see her gulp, fair-skinned uh, fair throat flexing to prove it. What? Why are you bringing the mandrake up? <laughs> and if I were to use it, uh, where would I put? If I were to use it, where would I put it? So it could be used for to similar effects for both members of a couple doing sex, then. I mean, imagine the first time that it wouldn't have any negative effects on the body. If the effect is that much stronger, would we still be okay? That's the main charm of natural remedies, I guess. And that means... I take a step forward and put my arms around her. Leaning close, I whisper into her ear. We can enjoy what's about to happen without worrying about a thing. Mel embraces me and squeezes hard without saying a word. Man, there's something else. I've been teasing Mel through her mind this whole time, even while she worked. But I know Mel has been thinking of the sex to come, just as I have. Now that I that she's disclosed, all I can smell is her. Uh... Okay. Why the smell? Why always the smell? Shampoo. A smell, a shampoo smell wouldn't be described as that. What? Brush my hand against her cheek and lift her chin. The next, Miss Pharmacist. Why don't we have a little clink, clinkle trial to test the result? Give her the gentlest kiss I can manage. Slowly, I push her down onto the bed. <laughs> I think I may actually have to censor that. Uh, one twenty-nine fifty. I'ma just note that down in here. 
Oh, I forgot that this has a different soundtrack. One, two, nine, fifty. There was a rack of them next to the register when he bought that collar. I went and bought it too. So he's just casually, you know, just casually bought an entire bondage set. You know, because that's something you buy, just buy casually like that. <laughs> Is Bud gone again? Yes. Oh, oh. Bud... Huh. Bud is back? <clears throat> Did you intentionally disconnect or... ...accidentally? Accidentally. Okay. I figured you might actually like it. Like what? The bondage set he apparently casually bought for her. <laughs> this is nice to come back to. <laughs> also, oh my god, that mask must be uncomfortable. Note, note, look at, look at this part, look at this part. It's not like going under her ear or over e uh, above her ear. It's literally going it's over very... her ear. Hmm. That would be okay. uncomfortable. Very. Yeah. Oh, I, I can feel it. It's disgusting. Oh. I don't like it. No, 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 no. I don't like it. No. No. Yeah, I gave my hands on your handmade aphrodisiac wasn't a part of the plan, though. I just went along with what Mel was saying, and we ended up here. I sat there for a moment and observed the glorious erotic th scene before me. I have stolen away Mel's vision with this blindfold. I've stolen her freedom of movement with the cuffs binding her ankles and wrists. The links rattle with each little movement she makes. It really feels like I've turned Mel into my toy. In all honesty, I can barely contain myself. With Mel unable to see or stop me, now is the perfect time to get a good look at every inch of her. I haven't even touched... Yes. Yeah. Not just wet. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Oh boy. <sighs> I refuse to you know, read these. Good. You know, you know, that's a that's a really nice tree outside right there. Too bad that I can't look outside to distract myself from this calamity because I'm underground. Yeah. We that's, have a, uh, a real... We have a beautiful cherry blossom outside, but unfortunately the cherry blossoms are not coming off it, so we don't get that effect. No. Beast, just play with the stick. Hit, hit the mannequin a little bit. <laughs> Order the mannequin to her uh, to horny jail. Bonk. I just hit it with the gun stock. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> just That's to the just good. nicely to the back of the neck. Nicely to the back of the neck. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Ah! I wish that had live ammo just then. Bang, 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 bang. What were you expecting me to have you do after making the medicine, huh? The chains at the cuffs rattle against her. However, Mel just weakly nods and answers without any defiance. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I think I broke the goddamn gun again. <laughs> this keeps happening. I don't know why. 
Oh, fuck! Thing. The spring jumped out at me. <laughs> <laughs> Did this break off somewhere? I think it broke off somewhere. Gun safety 101. <laughs> does that apply here? <laughs> I don't know, does it? You tell me, you're the American here. I have no idea where this goes. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's fucking dirty inside. Oh, my think fucking. Americans have gun safety. What if you to assume that Americans have are, are safe with guns? Well, some of us are. Some. Some. some yeah. Okay, somehow managed to fix it despite one part of the gun that was inside of it now lying on this shelf. So basically what you're telling me is you used the wrong formula and got the right answer. Yes. <laughs> Stonks. I guess. Honest God should probably just buy some at some point. Some actual like proper soft guns. Airsoft guns. Just as props. Here's a thought. I mean I actually know a shop where I can buy proper knives and air guns. We had that yes. in Hereford as well for a while, but that got closed down. <laughs> you made that expect you made that expecting it to happen. She releases a long sigh of pained exasperation. As I said, I have yet to actually touch any sensitive parts of Mel's bodies, but uh yeah. Yes. Niagara Falls. Well then I'll put this present you made for me to good use. I do exactly what you're waiting for. I uncapped the vials you gave me before. Mel's yes are already erect, and there I got a place to rub the first dose. <laughs> That's not what was in that little vial. That was a lot more. Yeah, also, remember, remember, that. he was told to mix it one part, the mixture, nine parts water. Maybe I did that. Men Mel grits, grits her teeth and tries to la tolerate the stimulation. But as I watch, a single line of drool escapes her mouth and drips to the sheets. Mel's body sh shakes under the stress. Even, I, if, even if I couldn't see it, the sound of the chains rattling would give it away. Oh, sorry, Mel, uh, I was supposed to dilute this, wasn't I? I vaguely adjust my tone to hint that this wasn't an accident. Mel mutters through the violent shaking of her torso. <laughs> well, he did, so apparently he can. It looks like her skin has already begun to take it in. Mel screams, rise by an octave. How is it? Does this live up to your predictions? <laughs> and then she suffered a... And then she suffered a pulmonary edema. <laughs> a what? A Isn't that when you die? Isn't that when it... you die because you're too horny? Uh, well, it's specifically a very particular blood clot that occurs in the heart. That comes from the horny. Wow, no kidding. Possibly. Or heart overworking. <laughs> Your nipples go cut diamonds right now! <laughs> a line like that you can't expect me not to read. Possible <laughs> hypertension. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I reach up to her cheek to stop her sh stop her shaking her head. Then I use my palm to gently stroke her skin. Can you tell me on a one on a scale of one to ten? Her instructions are clear. She has to answer me. Just to make it harder, I reach back down and give. Yep. I hate my life. Oh! Mm. oh! I hate it when you feel a sneeze coming. You get ready, you brace yourself, and then it's gone. 
Oh, I know that. I, I know hate that. that. It hurts your soul. <laughs> this isn't just scared from having a yeah. Mm. Okay then, uh, yes. Oh boy. So now I'm going to share you what that sex scene entails. Okay. This is literally in the middle of the night, it was relatively early in the day, and, uh, They've fucked basically the day away. Damn. Also, yeah, like... after he played with her a bit, he literally dumped the rest of the extract onto his dick and just started thrusting. Which caused <laughs> the extract, the, 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 the concentrate to just be applied to both of their uh, mucous membranes, which, which means a one times five amplifier to the effect it already had. And like that, they proceeded to fuck the day away to the point where Mel passed out twice. Oh lord. Like, she looks proper out of it in the CGs. Hold on, let me just see if I can find them. I... Good god. Oh no. Poor Mel. There we go. There's a lot of uh, Arl on the first page for some reason. Nice. Nice. Go see looking forward to that. Maybe. Let's see if I can see it. That's one version. That's not the version I mean, though. That's not the v version I mean, sadly. It is animated yet, though, for some reason. Oh, by the way, yeah, some of the CGs in this game are animated. Huh. Some of the sex CGs. So, uh, this is what happens after the whole tied up situation. I'm assuming you're gonna put that in there. Uh... Can we do <laughs> I know, I went overboard, and I'm sorry for that. Now that I've calmed down, I've been apologizing over and over. Maybe I still can't believe I took things... Man, I still can't believe I took things so far. Still, thanks to that, uh, I had the chance to really love you hard. I feel satisfied. <laughs> Mel bumps her forehead against mine. I just squeeze her back without complaint. I just got really want a sprite of just Miyabi with the hair down. Which sadly, does, which sadly doesn't exist. You know, just the right things to say to tug at my heartstrings. Those are flattering words to hear from an expert on the topic. I can't help but mm -hmm. grin and feel my chest tighten with glee. From your dad? Aha, uh -huh, the one she was trying to write in the infirmary. The clumsily written one where she restarted her dr restated her dream to follow in her parents' footsteps. Oh, so uh, you did send it eventually. I was imagining a rather bleak result from that. But Mel seems cheerful about this, so I'm figuring out the gist of the message is a simple affair. I refrain from poking fun at her and wait for her to continue. Shh. 
優秀な薬剤師ならばダミアレス家は歓迎するから恋人を連れて帰ってこいそれと最後に応援してるから頑張れって書いてあった<笑> Mel turns her head and extends her hands She looks upward at the sea of stars Your sincerity got through to them I turn skyward as well and provide that simple answer <laughs> そうじゃないと思う今まで何を言ってもそんなこと言ってもらえたことなんてなかったから She rotates back over to lay her hand on my chest over my chest She heaves a sigh towards the night sky 大事なことを私が薬剤師になる理由を教えてくれたからだよ本当に感謝してもしきれないよ Mel wraps an arm around the elbow I have supporting her and presses her cheek against it I curl up my arm and pull her in close again to mirror the affection. No? She's so clumsy, yet so motivated and straightforward. She can't lie, she wears her heart on her sleeve. That's just how my beautiful girlfriend Meltina lives. The thing Mel wanted most in the world was somebody who would approve of her dreams and let her chase them. As a boyfriend, I couldn't be more proud of her. Mel stacks dream after loving lofty dream on top of us. We spent the rest of our time in an endless back and forth of passionate vows sealed with kisses. Now starts the opening. The ending, I mean. There we go, I'm switching this to display capture now. So people can properly see it. I must just shut up now, by the way. I hate to be the one to tell you this, but I can only see a black screen. Huh? Yes, me too. Yeah. Black screen. Oh yeah, well, you'll, you'll just have to watch the, the, the video afterwards. You can still hear it, so it's fine. Yeah, soundtrack. So I'm gonna just mute myself now. And, mm -hmm. and only listen. There we go, it's done. Not quite yet, though. First off, the background changes. And very obviously, may I be uh, I'm gonna go and take a toilet break again because we're not done yet. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I don't know what I ate wrong. It's gotta be something. Mm. Oh well. Let's go into the extras! Gallery... Nice access to everything. I also like to judge from the amount of pictures there are. As you can see, the most are... But the most are views. And videos. Those are movies. The ending. Also, I like how they actually give make the characters give comments. I'm Neville, but still a maid in positive times too. But this is the ending. Becoming a great witch is a dream of mine, but won't you grant my other dream of ringing wedding bells together with you? Huh. That's actually quite sweet. Aww. Also, the CGs mm -hmm. are, in, are also there. So let's go for to, through all of for her. Oh yeah, that one's missing because uh, it's supposed to be the other one for this scene. 
Yeah, the one you really, shared. I was really worried, you know, I swear. Um, pretty good at physical stuff, but I didn't even know I could do that with my toes. Uh. <laughs> Taking it easy, nice and easy is nice, but uh, you could have at least told me my panties were showing. Yet the panties weren't showing. That was actually I a respectable don't... shot. Yeah. Mhm. Mm uh, doesn't great. Doesn't do, it? Doesn't taste great or anything, but it makes my heart feel full. I like also. How, I also like how these comments are from the perspective of uh, basically after the route is done. Oh yeah, now that you mention it. <laughs> I love taking baths together, I love being able to hug you this tightly. Uh, using a man's arm as a pillow, even though you're younger, my heart is pounding. Even I can make something even half decent, alright? Just not a lot of var var variety. Variety. Punishment, it feels like I'm getting treated like a masochist now. Uh, what can I do? I finally learned the taste of the... Yep. <laughs> oh boy. Whenever I clean up, I think about this time, and yep. You bought this on a whim? You're such a pervert, you know that. Uh, it's not like there wasn't any studying going on at all, you know. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't thrown away. You really can't just rely on hearsay. Oh yeah, right, I forgot. This is, is not the second CG for that. That's actually the CG that we're going to be seeing in a bit. Also, all the soundtracks. Hey, look at her. Oh, you little, mm. look at the little chibis. Yeah. That was the sec. Don't that that was the sex scene music during the last one. The chibis are adorable. Yep, they are. There's the regular sex scene music. This is still the best soundtrack in this entire game. Get the door cut. Brother, get the flamer. The heavy flamer. The heavy flamer. flamer. <laughs> Bro, they're just rocking it out, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah, this actually has this, the lyrics there. By the way, I can actually send you to the opening and ending if you want. <laughs> Since I add, actually, you can also buy them on Steam if you want. I love how the uh -oh. devil censored. Uh oh, devil! She's just rocking out with that guitar. I'm trying to show off all of the different like chibi animations right now. What is that she's even playing? I have no idea. Dude, bro, she is blowing on that sucker, bro. Dude. No. That bro. wasn't wholesome. We've already seen it for her. We've already seen it for her. Okay. Locations. <laughs> They, these are all the scenes where we can actually see the names now. Also in common route, we have Pochi School, the casket and beeping in the bath. Big baby sink ratio at 400%. Sis Crotch Lovero. The basket bed has its fair share of fans all over the world. It's true. Oh, world, it's true. It's like, uh, like I said, I'm a dirty girl. When I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. I didn't really want to keep secrets, but it turned out okay in the end anyways. Back when I, where I'm from, we didn't even have pizza delivery. It was such it's a hell hole. The unfeminine dits is out of time. Uh, care for Yukiona, sometimes it gets hot and sometimes it gets cold. This world is so cruel to me. Animal Aww. tamer mummy, there's a lot of trouble that go with animals, but it, it must be so nice to just stay naked. Oh lord. <laughs> You did this world demon lecture on the subject of ignoring the little things. The other world's actually pretty interesting. But the honest, simple, and straightforward witch. I'm not really good at this roundabout stuff. I'm always on blast. 170 kilometers per hour. Having everyone strip is pretty amazing. Why is... Nothing else would go along with my body. I'm gonna get remember that, you scr scummy hotel. Also, she did try to borrow a swimsuit on the beach, but the hotel was like, nothing would go with you. <laughs> I am a resort and to marry friends. So you live in a fair, is apparently in an area to improve relations with the demon world. As long as it's with you and each other. Ah, uh, yeah. Not Kicked out of Fujima household. And chance to catch up with the Ditsy Devils. 
Awkward hand jump times three, time, times five. Acceptance, denial, and refractory period. <laughs> okay, I like so that. Details. Details. <laughs> uh, details, details. Just come Now, the Miyabi, a man's power output. I thought guys got into the mood for it easier than that. Ha ha ha. Cold plus sex. Say, now that I think about it, this was assaulting someone who was sick, huh? <laughs> like, it after was just. <laughs> I was kind of fucked up, wasn't it? Why, why did you stop me? <laughs> you know, this is my rot, but it don't even show up. Man vs. Witch, the prelude. <laughs> so, this was what fit us, I guess. But I'm Just still happy either way. Fourth wall, uh. Yep. Man vs. Witch confession. Man vs. Witch the first night. We didn't even get, we didn't get any chances to be alone. What else was I supposed to do? Mandrake's first love. Uh, hey, my aunt took a liking to you too. She said come back anytime. Punishment for making me worry. I definitely didn't expect this turn of events. Not at all. This was the scene where we found out that she's a masochist, so she was expecting this to happen? Oh no. My first, maybe I should start wearing more stockings that have runs in them. Rummaging. <laughs> she's basically looking for... Torn... Stocking so she can wear them on the parallel. Yeah. To get him going. <laughs> Mega Pervovich. I'm just a <laughs> huge pervert, so uh, sorry uh, that you have a girlfriend like me. And Mandrake toys in me. But the truth is that uh, that wasn't the right way to use that medicine. Was there <laughs> ever a right way with something that potent? <laughs> I don't know. Also, <laughs> this is a thing. Let's grab Miyabi. No, I said Miyabi. There we go. Uh, you can change, uh, swap the clothes. Which There's the collar. Special collar. Oh! The Swap pad. Band. The pad. Swimsuit. Four movable poses. Didn't even make the thing appear. And different levels of blush. Why oh, you can make? Wait, hang on. You can make pictures of this. Why oh, you could have made thumbnails with this thing? Oh, I th the last thumbnail for the original series is actually made with that. Because oh, okay. you can actually just hold on. You can make them say <laughs> things. Okay. And even like get rid of everything so it actually looks like the scene. <laughs> Anyways, now to the extras. We have three after stories. Concept opt with actual comments from Sayuri. Ooh. The also the original design had like longer side locks, which honestly god looks rather nice. I actually like the longer side locks. Yeah. Society comment. At first, her outfit was a pretty traditional witch's garb without a lot of exposure. But as we progressed and through the design, the amount of cloth coverage kept going down. She's kind of a dumb character, so she wouldn't feel embarrassed wearing clothes like these, is what I think to myself anyway. I particularly like her knee-high socks. Uh, a man of culture. <laughs> but I really do like her with, her with the long side locks. Yeah, yeah. Like it a lot. Then here's the chibi designs. <laughs> MC head. <laughs> They're the design documents. Sayuri comment. A witch strikes me as someone with violet hair and golden eyes. I realized that when you have a predefined setting for your character's race, it makes the design process so much easier. I initially drew her with a cool refined older sister in mind, but she ended up an idiot. She gave him as an ahoga. So I guess we can't do anything about that. <laughs> By the way, that's this one. This is the last sex CG that I was talking about. 
mm -hmm. for the viewers, just, you know, in, in sketch only. VA Comet, it's a, by, by the way, the VA is Tezuka Ryoko. And here's, uh, with this, you can actually download five, three different versions of a wallpaper. Which, mm. I'm just gonna go ahead and cool. save that. Where did I save that? In documents. Fuck. I'm gonna save that and send that to y'all, so if you're interested. Thank you. Eh, yeah, file is too powerful. I'll upload it on Google Drive and send y'all the link. Yeah. Anyways, on to the after stories. Uh, boobs, you wanna touch them? Caption reads like the official home of Bob and Toss. Oh, Mel, sorry. I got into a little fight with that damn lolly Tama. Okay, well, uh, it's kind of ridiculous. Well, really, really ridiculous, but bear with me. Oh boy, I wonder what it's gonna be. I clear my throat and sit up straight. What's your opinion on including pineapple and sweet and sour pork? Pineapple? I mean, if you don't care either way, then that's fine. But it seems to be a topic of debate popular on, but, uh, but, but, but it seems to be a po topic of popular debate among cooks. There are tons of people in the pro and con camps, but almost nobody in the middle of the aisle. It's a dish that winds up being the subject of raging debate time, uh, raging debate time and time again. These are the opinions of Ren Fujima and do not necessarily reflect the opinions of his author. <laughs> but I get a blowed. But get a load of what that shitty dorm head said. Sweet and sour pork and pineapple totally tastes like shit. Can't believe she'd put down Chinese food when she's from China herself. Unforgivable that Chibi Dragon deserves to be punished! Chibi Dragon. <laughs> I realize that everyone's tastes are unique, you know? I even understand that much, but really? There's a limit to the outrageous things that Midget Dragon can say. She puts cherries on top of any Chinese food I serve. How does that make sense? Cherries? What? She mm. mixes her rice and curry together into a sickening mush. <laughs> and after time, she forgets the table manners entirely. She acts like eats like a damn pig. She even leaves pistachio shells and banana peels all over the place. She smashed my rage button at least six times today alone! Once again, these are the opinions of friend Shu Fujima do not necessarily reflect the opinions of his author. They do reflect my opinion because though, because by god fuck her. Aw, oh, poor Tama. <laughs> you don't feel sorry for her, admit it. Maybe. I have pity for the very cute Tama. Mal doesn't even try to hide how repelled she is. Despite recognizing this, I can't seem to aside my fury. I'd rather deal with two or three of Thomas' other faults than concede this point. I honestly think that lolly hag's personality is rubbing off on me. <laughs> That's what's up. Just give me a bit and I'll calm down. Sorry. Tell you when I've cooled my head. Go ahead and relax in your room. Yeah, what do you want? なんか調べたら、マンドラゴラって育て方によっては性格が変われるらしいよ。先に行け。ここは俺が食い止める。ここで待ってろ。すぐに戻る。俺は部屋に戻らせてもらうからな。all of these uh, very much imply that somebody's gonna die. Hmm. All those sound like someone's last words. 
I can imagine <laughs> toys that say each of those lines popping out of those cop capsule machines. But I do remember his saying that there are several subspecies. You might be right. Maybe there are some that can do that. I don't know if I'd ever call any of them cute, though. I think I like the Tetsuko Shira Yanagi impression more. You were upsetting the women. Stop it. Mother immediately puts down her own joke, but I can't disagree, it's an old res reference. Hmm. What? <laughs> this, is this is bordering, bordering very desperate territory. What? I just want to say, if this, I just want to say, this is her way of making him not upset. That's her strategy right now. Actually, funneling breasts does reduce stress. But that's her strategy. She went to that. That actually is something that was proven. Falling breasts does reduce stress because it's basically the same as stress balls. I mean, okay. But where did I'm that sure come from? I'm sure it also reduces stress for a different reason, but alright. Is there a bug in Mel.exe somewhere? Could you have taken some messed up drug again, drug again while I wasn't looking? I thought she had been doing pretty well at keeping her hands away from the test tubes. Yeah, so no, I don't know その、Oh. Well, if you're offering, I won't turn it down. I squeeze him heartily. Hmm. So lucky to have such a positive, loving girlfriend. Once again, all is right with the world, as far as I'm concerned. They fucking. They smashing. Smash. Anyways, after story two, the dirty photographer and the swimsuit shoot. This really isn't how a shoot goes, okay? Everyone's does. Everyone's. Everyone's does a pro proper job. Greenness mm, yes. apostrophe. The English here is English. Tissues, olive oil, salt, pepper, and hand soap. Never told me that. <laughs> You're far from the first to tell me that. Though I fail to see how femininity and good memories are linked. I chose to, ca choose to carry on without saying so to Mel. Sure, no problem. Take as long as you need. She looks apologetic, but I wave her off. Mel accepts the preferred pen and writes her autograph with the grace of someone who's done this hundreds of times. Her fan, with sh eyes shimmering in a heart shape, runs off as Mel waves farewell. Think nothing of, the, not of it. Being gracious to your fans is one of the things I love you for. She wraps her arm around my elbow affectionately. It's so like her not to care about being seen by the people around us. And as her boyfriend, I just feel proud when she does it. Get a load of what I get to have on my arm, lonely little fan. 
A magazine page? You sure did look new. Have you done any model work lately? Okay, I didn't know they delayed it like that. それにモデルの仕事はもともと頼まれてやってただけだしね。自分がやりたくてやってたわけでもないからもういいんだ。Now, yeah, Sinna, you're just that attractive. You're just that attractive as always. This world is full of a myriad of glorious things, and even among those, Mel stands above the rest. Amy told me before that she had no regrets about leaving the showbiz. I feel like I'm completely drowning you two out. Nah, don't worry. you're good, buddy. But I think Mel would thrive in the spotlight if she were to embrace it. Got feeling that I'm missing a sense of scale for their fame, though. Oh, that reminds me. Do male fans ever come to you like the girl just now? I always see you surrounded by girls at school, but pretty much never any guys the same. It makes, it makes sense that guys would generally have a hard time plucking up the, p the courage. Girls around our age don't wait long before lo latching onto anything and anyone popular. I'm not, e I'm not one to ask for autographs, so I don't really get the fuss over it. A little. Is that bad? She ties her grip on her arm, of her arms around my elbow. I'll never get tired of feeling her cheek rubbing on my skin. I recall you saying that you're not into doing the kind of work where you have to be in your underwear or a swimsuit. And as your boyfriend, appreciate that, but, uh, what is it that stops you? Despite having the perfect figure for it? Ah, so she's fully aware of how voluptuous she, uh, voluptuous she is. And her confidence is by no means unwarranted. I can guarantee that. Wouldn't doing it really boost your reputation? Doesn't having your picture taken and published make you feel, I don't know, giddy or anything like that? That's how I imagine most amateur models would feel about it. <laughs> uh, no, that's not what I was talking about. I mean, don't you at least feel some sense of pride that they'd want to feature you? Models generally give the impression that they're really proud of their bodies, you know? Don't you think they'd come to like having their picture taken to show off? でも、私はそういう感じじゃないんだよね。その時に求められてる役に入ってるっていうか、そんな感じ。うーん。Not to the average layman, I'd say. I don't doubt that her ability to do that is part of why she's so talented at modeling. I actually don't know this for a fact since I've never seen her on set, but I have a strong feeling about it. I wish I could have had, ch have had a chance to see you in action. Oh, what about this? How don't I be the cameraman then? That way I get to see you from the modeling angle. My phone is more than capable of doing a splendid job on that front. I hold up my smartphone and turn the camera lens towards her. Hold on to them for a bit and use them as fat fuel, I guess. Come on, you know I was joking, really. 
That admission just now made my heart jump a little. I'm sure she doesn't even realize how cute she wa it was. And that only makes my sweet Mel that much cuter! Okay, let's put the joke aside then. I just really want to see what you're like when you're in working mode. Can't I? It's a whimsical request to make as your boyfriend, I know, but come on. Please, I beg of you! It's just a little begging, she acquiesces. Is that how you pronounce that? I'm not fucking clear. Acquiesces, yes. You got that right, you're right. Big words. Mel shyly tries to cover her body with her arms in vain. Her reddened face is at odds with her fusing. Never fussing, not fusing. I'm a fucking idiot. Ooh, that's perfect! Now you're straight up adorable. As an appeal to seeing her dressed like this in my bedroom instead of at the beach, I'm compelled to applaud. The mismatch of the bedroom decor, decor and her outfit is somehow extremely erotic. I'm losing the build. The, the, Long before the M4 came out. <laughs> that was still the revolver. Ah. If that happens again, then the gun, and th when it happens again, again, you know. Then why don't I start by taking the boyfriend role? いや、くでも何でもなくて、ただの事実じゃないか。それなら演じようのないスノアタシだから。恥ずかしいよ。おお、バイソーシス。いや。I broke it again. You broke the gun. I fixed the I fixed the gun. Nice. Oh boy, so irresistibly adorable. I couldn't have asked for a better setting to see her in a bikini again. But this is where I get to really enjoy my position as a boyfriend. But first, I'll have to try and hide the excitement from showing on my face. Remain calm. Oh, starting with that, huh? Let's see, what pose would be good? Okay then, first, let's try a natural standing shot, if you don't mind. We go with the first idea that comes to mind. I'm only an amateur, after all. And here I am. And I'm just here to enjoy the view, so I don't need to get all professional. <laughs> Mel takes a step back. Okay, here's shot number one. I go ahead and snap a picture with my phone. Good, that's my cute Mel. I muttered to myself as I look at the result. Why was that just a pause? Bless you! Bless you. Thanks. Okay, next, let's have you accentuate your breasts. Mel folds her, folds her arms under her well-shaped breasts, propping them up. There's something oddly titillating about snapping a picture of that uh, with my phone. I don't know why I love the word, tit the word titillating so much. So fitting in this case. Thought I was used to seeing them by now, but the feeling is different this time. <laughs> oh, oh, well, uh, you're just a sexy. It's now a picture of Mel's blushing smile. Hmm, that was actually a pretty good shot. Talking to her as we do this is great for calming your nerves and mine. It's easy to imagine a photography session where the model talks to the cameraman as they work. Okay, uh, wait, Mel, are your breasts bigger than they were before? Oh wow, really? It's now a picture of those growing babies. <laughs> This would be sexual harassment in any other scenario, but it makes a, such a thrill. It's fun enough to consider a career in adult camera work. No. 
I wonder how deep into this territory she'll let me get. So, Mel, tell me, when was your first time? I sent a picture of right when her face shows how taken aback she is by the question. My words alone must have injected a bit of tension into her. I can see her neck move as she gulps nervously. Slowly she opens her mouth to answer. She flinches when she hears the phone's shutter sound. Every time I take a picture, she reacts the same way. My god, Mel's so unbelievably sexy like that. The impulse to keep teasing her keeps rising. And who was it with? So it was a boy with a boy younger than you. How did your first time having sex feel? That can be arranged! <laughs> he just yeah. jumps her. And... Well... <laughs> and there went the restraint. And then we had sex for hours. Marrying up the setting paid huge dividends for me this time. Now this next one makes me vaguely uncomfortable. <laughs> uh... Don't worry, there is no actual NTR in this. Okay, good. It's literally just that he l hears that a guy confessed to her since they're not it's not known at school that they're dating. She basically confesses to the fact that a guy confessed to her just to make him a bit jealous because he's been permanently in control. So he proceeds to tie her up and do her in the nurse's office. And then while they're doing it decides he's gonna be mean and lie saying that a girl also confessed to him. They both clear it up afterwards though. So, Bruh. it Dude. made it made me vaguely uncomfortable as well. Uh, Mel, are you in here? I peek into the infirmary, curious as to what that was about. Oh, was with that guy shouting just now? <laughs> Mel speaks as vaguely as possible. I tilt my head to indicate that I'm expecting more information. Hmm. So basically a game, a, a guy came trying to woo my Mel and felt the hammer of judgment. Do I have that right? <laughs> Her shy blush was briefly delayed. Mm, no, that was cute. My girlfriend's the same as always. <laughs> well, if my adorable girlfriend offers it, I can't refuse. <sighs> I'm a prepare. <laughs> Mel gently blows on her cup of black tea to cover it off, to cool it off. What was that beep, by the way? What beep? I heard a beep. A really high-pitched uh, beep. Not a clue. Huh. Uh, and half those sessions... And ha half those sessions been going well? It's good that you're devoting a lot of effort to it, but don't you overwork yourself, okay? Results won't come quickly, no matter how much you press your nose to the paper. It's a long road. <laughs> Mel lowers her head and giggles. Ever since Mel received that reply from her father, she's really been putting a lot of work into her studies. As usual, she's been fitting time for it into her usual trips to the infirmary. I come to support her whenever I have time at school to do so, which is pretty much every day. Her grades have finally been improving, which is good. I have to admit, it's almost shocking to see her progress from uh, 
how her pro to see her progress from a bottom ranked student to the go getter I see now. It must have been an issue of her mindset. There's clearly nothing that keeps her brain from retaining information. <laughs> Now crosses her arms and furrows her brow. Hmm. Like the one just now? Latch onto that phrase, unwilling to let it pass undressed. Un unaddressed. What do you mean? This first time I'm hearing about this. It's been going on here. Uh, what's been going on here, huh? Was this something he wanted to talk about? Her voice grows quiet and she looks away nervously. Are her visits and confessions from guys like him a common thing? Bit more often? Really? How much? I narrow my eyes suspiciously. And I shouldn't be surprised with her looks. On top of her pin-up figure, she got that frank, open-hearted personality to boot. It's literally unimaginable that she wouldn't be popular. But that openness is what makes it so hard for her to realize that herself. Mal waves her arms expressively, but she's clearly off balance. Charming. She seems to think I'm somehow angry about the confessors. My demeanor seems to have had a much greater effect than I intended. I could never imagine Mel getting the impulse to cheat on me. Seeing her this confused makes me kind of feel bad, so maybe I should clear this up. Huh? The word catches me off guard. Can't even think of an actual response. She plays with her fingers sheepishly. Her eyes flick to me, peering up at my face. Uh, well, it's not exact. That's not exactly the case. Why does she seem so happy? I suppose I do understand the feeling of satisfaction that comes with being the reason for someone's jealousy. I don't know how I feel about her being happy about my assumed irritation, though. <laughs> Mel hides her face with her hands, but I can see her mouth bend into a grin. Now I'm actually annoyed. But why? My non-existent envy gives way to a very real desire to assert... Dominance. <laughs> Hold on. Oh dear. I am. I went into the background real quick and T posed. <laughs> 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 Hey, I had to assert dominance! The game wanted me to! <laughs> My eyebrow twitches at Mel's impertinence. <laughs> Yang builds up. She was, has yet to notice my fouling mood. Draw close to Mel, teasing smile still on her face. I'm not immune to jealousy, of course, so I understand Mel's logic. But if Mel's going to stick to that line of reasoning, maybe it's time to set my adorable little girlfriend straight. Mel, reach out and gently put two fingers on her chin. I draw close and stare directly into her eyes. <laughs> That's just something I really should make sure you understand. Come over here for a sec. For a second. 
I roughly pull Mel over to the side by the hand, and I push her down onto one of the infirmary cots. I like the insinuation that he just casually has handcuffs on him while he goes to school. Just casually has them on his person. Apparently. That worries me. I think it would worry he anybody. On him. <laughs> it looks like they've been going for a while already. It, they have been going for a while already. Mel's body convulses and climax again as I launch another load up beside her. She look. Her eyes are empty. <laughs> Mel, how many times does that make it that I've cream pied ya? Jesus Christ. And how many times did you come over those three green pies? Even though I've just pushed you down and jammed it in without any foreplay? You've been coming since then? Handcuffs clink to drive the point home. Mel looks back at me like she's about to cry. Because I have to make sure you understand who you belong to. Hey now, this isn't over! That'd be a disaster if someone were to come in and see this. I'm going to get an assault team in a minute. If you want to stand quickly, then move your hips with me! This is this is very violent. It feels this feels very, very violent. Yeah. Like I said, this made me vaguely uncomfortable as well. Vaguely? I'm used, I'm used to too much shit. Get the SWAT team! But the fact is, you love it when I talk with you. This is supposed to be your punishment, but you're enjoying it like a reward. And cut. <laughs> no, no, I mean the part about a girl asking me out. Why did you merely assume that's what I meant? I guess I should have expected it from my dumb by nature girlfriend. But uh, how do I say this? I just got kind of mad that you seemed so happy that I was distressed over you. And uh, I guess I just got carried away. Kind of got carried away. You didn't deserve that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, this expression would never not f be funny to me. I like how she didn't even imagine, uh, you know, just breaking up and finding another lover. No, if he were to cheat, she'd just accept becoming some kind of sex slave. Urge to purge. It's like, actual, actual what the fuck. Mel, I'm really sorry. I'll never do it again. I promise. Please forgive me. I embrace her and try to calm her down, patting her head and back. She presses her face into my chest, soaking my shirt with her tears. 
No normal person would expect to be forced to live as someone's sex slave in this kind of situation. Mel may be masochist, but I still admit that I overdid it. Now it's my fault for letting the jealousy get the better of me. I'm sorry. I'd have to be messed up in there to even think of letting go of the best girl in the world. Throw away wasn't even a word I used. I decided to, um, against making that point and settled for pulling my winsome girlfriend in for a hug. Mel wraps her hands around me and hugs me, t ha hugs me right back. But you're saying that makes me uh, the happiest man in the world. Boy, you really got into it halfway through, didn't you? Mel blushes and looks at me with a mixture of embarrassment and frustration. That complex expression is uh, made less impactful by the strength of her grip around my chest. Look, I'm sorry, I'll never make you cry again, I promise. Watching Mel get all worked up over this just reminds me why I love her. I once again draw her close and give her a million of the sweetest kisses I have to offer. And then I threw a grenade in the room. Flashbang through the door! <laughs> Flashbang through the door. Anyway, so yeah, that was uh, Mel's route. I wonder if I can just press start and skip to the selection. You can improve on rubbish. I think that's what he says. If you can. Apparently, I cannot just do that. So back to title. <laughs> Continue. Oh, it's neatly all still here. Let's just load that and I don't know. Save it onto this page as well for ease of access. Anyway, so our yeah, next route we have the choice between Arl, Viria, Yu, Aifa, Rin, and Reika. So, uh, which one, which would you guys go for? Arl. Yeah, we we we've he's done us a favor. Let's let's do him a solid. Arl next. Okay. So, yeah, it's just Arl. It's just Arl. Like, you two are in split, so there's no need to ask the comments. Arl time, boys. Let's go. Let's get a round of applause in the chat. Whoops. Bless you. So, anyways, yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and uh, see you next time. Have a good one, boys. Nighty-night.